here at the UNCC with Pastor G um, with the church called Road to Damascus Christian Church. And where are you located? We're here located on the UNC Charlotte campus in the College of Health and Human Services building in Auditorium 155, right across from the Student Union. Got it. And that's every Sunday? Every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Okay. Now, how did that come about? Uh, my wife and I uh, actually started a Bible study uh, 15 years ago. And, um, and as students would come out and and we just encouraged them in the Word. And at that time, we didn't even have a student organization on the campus. But as, as time went on and it grew, the students decided to form a, formulate an organization on campus. And we started having what's called Power Hour, a Bible study, once a week. Okay. Uh, interesting and very important platform that you have between the music as well as being on campus with the young minds. And the age ranges are... Um, 18 to 22. Okay. They're, the, they're the population that dominates uh, the ministry. Got it. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, and then that God has blessed you with that platform, and the platforms are given to make him known. How uh, important is that to you that he's given such a uh, mandate or responsibility to you? Uh, you know, it's very important for me, um, especially when you look at all the things that can happen on the college campus. People come here and trying to figure out what to do with their life. And to have a consistent, steady uh, connection and access to the Word of God as, as a means of counsel and direction, it means everything. Great. Wow. Yeah. I wish I would have that back in the day. <laughs> Me too. Um, also, I recently met you at the Queen City Awards and yes. you were nominated for Male Gospel Artist of the Year. Yes. And after that, you actually won, correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Correct. I'm Congrats, excited correct. about it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How, how, how exciting was that for you? It was very exciting uh, because you had to you had to get enough votes to even be nominated. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many people voted and typed in Pastor Graham and another whole group typed in PG mm -hmm. that I made the, the, the list twice. Great. And, uh, and that really let me know how many people supported it. So you got a lot of support from the students at UNC? Yes, yeah, students at UNC, their family who's come to visit the church mm -hmm. and other ministries I've spoken at over the years. And so it was very a humbling experience for me. Okay. And the students actually like your music? Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's rap? Yes, it's, it's, it's gospel hip hop music. Mm -hmm. And, um, and every now and then I'll, I'll perform the church on Sunday, and, and uh, they love it, and I'm glad they do. Okay, great. Congratulations. Wow. Because uh, that's a built-in fan base. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Um, with that, I want to ask, um, what do you think is the church's greatest challenge today? Uh, the church as a whole? Mm -hmm. I think the greatest challenge the church as a whole now is transparency. It's because, of, because we're in such an information age right now, and students can you, you literally Google anything, whether it's right or wrong. They want to know that when they're communicating, somebody's talking to them, that they're being real with them. And I think sometimes we're so accustomed to putting on a church face and a church mask that we're not totally being transparent and open. And that, 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 throw, that cut, cast audience to look away. But when they know you're being honest and real, and you can show them where you're vulnerable, then they then can make a connection and appreciate what you're saying to them. Okay, wow, great. Absolutely. So what do you have planned next on your agenda? Uh, well, we, we're, we've been, we, we're coming to a conclusion of our series, It's Time to Launch, and it's been a message we've been doing every Sunday um, to kick off the year and inspire people. Um, but also, I have a single coming out called I Believe, which will drop uh, on February 15th, and I'm excited about that. And then I'm going to have an EP called The Message, which will come out. I'm doing a concert event in the Student Union on March 22nd at 5 o'clock here on the college campus. Um, and I'm excited about that. You know, and, and my EP will be available that day. Okay, great. Now, you're single, I believe. Yes. And if you were to offer any encouraging words to students that are searching for purpose in their careers and maybe chasing money, mm -hmm. uh, how does your single, I believe, tie into what you would say to them for, for searching for their purpose? You know, I think the greatest thing that I can say is that the Word of God allows us to look at even the, the most harsh moments of our lives and give us a different perspective. 
Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are, the, who are called according to his purpose. That means even the negative things that have happened in our past, when we have true love for the Lord, even that has to work together for our good. So don't chase money. Chase the purpose that God has given you. Because found in that is your passion. Whatever it is God has given you to do naturally, God is also giving it the capability to make a living for your life. So tap into your passion and your purpose, and the finances will come. Great. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> so church and education, then that you're on the campus of UNC, how do they work together? Well, you know, one of my um, uh, mentors that I love and respect, Dr. Cindy Tramp, I graduated from a program she has called Kingdom University, and she talks about advancing the kingdom. And, you know, at a college campus is a place where people come to. They choose a major, they're trying to find out their career, and I feel that it's a perfect place for people to realize that representing the kingdom is beyond the walls of the church. And that means that we need people in the education field, in the law field, in entrepreneurship, in business, in entertainment. And so as people find their careers, they need to also tap into what is the Spirit of God leading you to choose and has already governed and anointed you to be in. And so being able to be led by the Lord and be educated at the same time, I think is a true testimony of advancing the kingdom of God. Okay, now the scripture that says your gift will make room for you. Well, let me tell you something. To me, when, when I think about that, that scripture, a lot of people uh, think that that's only inside of the church. Mm -hmm. But when we say that your gift will make room for you, that means that the things that you've done, a gift is something that's anointed to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. And so when you are a walking solution, the people with those problems will find you. The same way Pharaoh ended up finding Joseph, mm -hmm. whatever it is you've been anointed to do, you'll be, you'll be found if you're willing to open up and be the purpose that God has called you to be. All right. I can't think of anything else. We're ending on that. We thank you again for visiting with us on today, and I appreciate the interview, your time. Absolutely. Congrats thank you. Congrats again on your win. Thank you. And best to you all when you said. You know, God bless you, and I hope to see you come out to Road to Damascus. You can hear my music and my message on officialimpg.com. God bless you.